Hello everybody and welcome to our Design Corner. We're going to be producing this series for you every month and we're hoping to share some insights as to how you can improve your home so that you can make more money on the sale of your property. So here we have, would like to share with you uh, a live example actually of a house that we sold. It was on Palermo Avenue and what we did for the client in order to generate higher sales. In this particular case, we were able to get, um, uh, so sell the house for above ask price. So the, the client was very happy, we were very happy for the client as well. And definitely it was attributed also to how the house presented itself. The first thing that we look at is going to be the curb appeal. The curb appeal is very important because it's obviously when people purchase a home, it is very emotional and they need to, to see a house. They need to see the, the lands, a landscaping that they like and it needs to look nice from, uh, from the outside. So once we take care of that, what we do with the client is uh, we work with them on how to declutter a space. Typically, most people have too many things in their home and so what we have to do is to declutter it, either get rid of things, especially if you're moving, it's not going to be an issue with people that like to do that. Or we can, of course, recommend to put the, some things in the garage so that you can focus much more on the layout, focus on the size of the rooms and focus on how you could be laying out your furniture. So we do try to make sure so the furniture is optimized when it comes to the layout. The, sec the third thing that we do is uh, we also help the client neutralize the space. So for example, a client may have like a red feature wall or even light blue. And those are colors that might be nice and it might work well with the decor, but it does turn off like a potential buyer because it might not be their color. So uh, we recommend to neutralize the space and to go with either white or off-white. That's the best case scenario. And then the fourth thing, I'm on the fourth thing, right? So here in the case of this Palermo home that I was uh, showing with you, their furniture in the living room was all damaged by the cats. So they were going to get rid of it. And what we were able to do is to propose some alternative furniture, which we had in storage, because we do offer that to some of our clients. And so we went in with the full uh, living room set, sofas, uh, side table, coffee table, accessories, lamps, and even also um, a rug. We suggested they put a rug because they had a, a red tile, uh, old kind of terracotta style on the floor and so we wanted to make sure that that wouldn't turn off uh, certain buyers that was that and then the last thing that i would say is very important in this case is uh, their bathrooms were also run down so we recommended that they do a, a slight a remodel actually it took two weeks and it was also not that expensive very reasonable very worthwhile taking the effort and the time to do that and uh, all of these things contributed to a uh, successful sale we were able to get them above ask and multiple offers they were very happy and uh, that's what we hope to do with all of our clients so we can't wait to share some other experience that we had every month we'll be doing this and uh, we'd love to answer your questions also if you have any and thank you for watching